Who of you has heard about Alexa? Anybody tried Alexa? You might even have some of devices in your home. I don't know, the smart plug of in the home maybe that switches your light on and off, or the Amazon Basic Microwave, or our smart ovens. All the way, by the way, all of those using Amazon Freeartos as the operating system IoT in the back end. But there's a class of devices which we call Alexa built-in. And Alexa built-in are those devices which you can directly talk to because they have a microphone and a speaker. So the Echo Auto, for example, is one of those. Put in your car, you can talk to it. And if you wanted to build, as a third party, an Alexa built-in device, it required quite some resources on your device for all of the audio processing. Now I'm using some gibberish technological terms, so it needs more than 100 megabyte of RAM. It typically uses a real microprocessor, um, uh, typically Cortex-A type of devices, which in increase the EBOM, so the BOM, so build of material, and make the devices more expensive. So we were thinking hard with some of our partners, how can we make those devices so much more cheaper? And last week, we announced what is called AVS, that stands for Alexa Voice, Integration for IoT Core, which reduces the bill of material and therefore the cost for building Alexa built-in devices by 50%. And the magic which you put down here is that we offload all of the local processing to the cloud. All of the audio processing that you had to build in a device now can happen in the cloud. So, and the effect of this is instead of having 100 megabytes of RAM, you need one. It's two orders of magnitude of reduction. Instead of using a microprocessor, you can use a microcontroller, which again is typically an order of magnitude in cost. And all of that we also speed up because we work with companies like NXP, who have then pre-configured development board to make the development really easy.